Yet another skinny little box. That's two in a row, people. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to challenge my resourcefulness with these, these limited amount of parts. And that's fine. That's fine. I accept your challenge. Let's take these into the shop and see what I can do with them. I am making a pod racer from Star Wars. And if you're not familiar with pod racers, it's basically like a sled that's attached to two very large engines that pull it very, very fast. Kind of like a, a futuristic chariot, except the horses are like jet engines. This is my pod or chariot. and This is the, the roof of the pod. And it's going to be attached via these cables right here. To these drive engines. Now I need to detail them and make them look like an engine. And put uh, hoses and cables and wires and things on them, make them complicated. So that's what's gonna. That's what I'm gonna do today. And then somehow I'm gonna figure out how to make this whole sculpture look like it's flying, <laughs> flying low over the ground. Detailing sculptures is really the part of the process that I, I like the most. And in my opinion, it, it can really add that extra little punch to push a sculpture over the top. So I'm going to run a couple of pipes from the nose here down to the back. And I'm going to bend them in weird, weird ways. I want them to be sort of, you know, I want them to be parallel, but they need to look like they were done in the heat of the moment. Like, you know, we're, this is a rate, this is a pod racer. So sometimes the repairs can be dodgy or, or done like, this has to be done quickly because we're going to lose the race if we don't if we don't get this repair done. That's what you're doing with the details is you're telling a story. You know, this could have I could I could take a grinder and you know 
grind one side of this motor and make it look like it was damaged because they're they're gonna you know they're gonna rub and rubbing sun is racing so they're gonna rub they're gonna hit rocks they're gonna they're gonna have damage so this is the part where you can you know, be free to tell your own story with the sculpture even if you're doing something that's been well established like a tie fighter every tie fighter is different your tie fighter could have been in battle it could have been shot through one of the uh, ion engines on the side. Those, those side fins are called an ion engine. You could have holes in that or missing pieces or parts, you know. There's a, a plumbing piece. It runs from the nose back to the back, and then I bent. I just bent another one to match. So I like running, I like running pipes in parallel. In, in pairs. It's almost like, you know, if, if it was an oil system, you'd have oil going to and oil coming out, or coolant, cooling to and cooling out. Or if it was, if you could say it's a power line, if there is no oil in this, if it's a power type system, you'd have a hot leg and a return, or a DC positive, DC negative. And now I'll tack these in place, and I, I like symmetry, so that's why these motors look the same, and I'll try to do a similar fashion over here. So I'll match, I'll match it on this side. Let me tell you, I am happy to have this one done. I, I was really on the fence with this one. I did not know what to do, and luckily my son uh, suggested a pod racer, and it was perfect for this box because there wasn't a lot in it. It was very minimalistic, and granted, I did have to add a lot of my own decorations, but it needed to be done to round out the sculpture, but the bones of the sculpture, the engines and the pod itself, are all from the box and I used as absolutely many pieces from the box as I could. In fact, I think I only left a copper strip that I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. I had my fill of TIG brazing when I brazed the uh, brass, brass clasps to the cast iron pod. So if you enjoyed watching me make this sculpture as much as I enjoyed make it, make it. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed watching me make this sculpture as much as I enjoyed making it, I do one of these every week. So you should probably subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future mystery box builds. I am Jason. This is Works by Hearst. This is a Star Wars pod racer. I'll see all of you in the next one.